Welcome into this presentation of Minor now, League Baseball from the AA Texas Midland League. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Springfield Cardinals and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. <laughs> Daniel Gossett gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan, any thoughts? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not oh, only is he... Ready now, Richard Hester. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leaving first. For the Rockhounds, the center fielder, Richard Hester. Here's the first pitch to him. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. The wind up and the 0 1. Line towards center field. Two, two, Base two, hit, two. and that's their first of the new campaign. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. In now, Anthony Bermudez. And for him, you that have to second. think a turnaround is coming. Time. Clearly Anthony not going his way of late. Bermudez.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Popped him up. Melendez in foul ground. One out. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Yeah, Matty, the thing I'm focused on with this lineup is the fact that they love to run. They lead the league in stolen bases. They're not afraid to take that extra bag. It's going to put the defense on their heels. Be on the lookout for that today. So coming to the plate, Joseph Cheney. Batting first third. swings for him in this the one with a runner third. still at first Joseph. and one gone. Cheney. First pitch on its way. Nope. Curveball just oh, misses no apparently. Time. One and oh. The 1 0 home. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Melendez onto the grass. Oh, he come on. It. This one's down. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow can you be? Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Stepping in, Fernando Alonso. And as you check out his righty lefty hitter. splits, no surprise Fernando. that he hits better against southpaws Alonso. than he does against right handers. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pitch outside. The throw he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. Ready with the 1-0. Oh, oh, Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Cheney stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. At the plate, Howard Farrell, as they'll have Over five, six, out. and seven here to the start the baseman. home half of the second. Howard Farrell. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Zero. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Curveball close, but it's 1 and 1. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Now the one and one pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. All these curveballs, what the fuck, dude? Hmm. Wants to find me, man. <laughs> the one two is taken for oh, ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Oh, 
Two, Hard two, ground ball two. to third. Oh. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't two, come up two, with two. it. And the leadoff man's aboard. The throw into second. Oh. But he'll be in there with a double. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Batting fit. That's Into the box, Leroy, Leroy Tyler, Leroy. as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. This year against right-handed pitching, Tyler carries a batting line right at 240. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Fouled away. A runner at second, nobody out. Oh, Hit on oh, the ground oh, out oh. to short. Backhanded. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of that the shoot that. from step one. But Go I have to ask you, Dan, how oh. frustrating executing a yeah. pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, d -Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. The 0-1 pitch. Behind 0-2 now. None out, runners at first and second. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And the guy patrolling center field today, I can't emphasize this enough. If you want a good ball club, you better be strong up the middle. Center field being that main component with catcher, shortstop, and second base. This guy takes tremendous routes to the Batting ball. It. Strong the and accurate arm and just a leader on the field. Rodriguez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. A ball and a strike. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Still a ball and two strikes. Farrell on second. Tyler at first. One gone. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The one-two is swung on and missed. Strike three. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down the without a fight. He really Four made up. the pitcher earn that strike oh, out. Uh, Fastball right. runs a bit inside here. It's one and oh. And he fouls this one off. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Grounded down the third baseline. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in, Richard Hester. He reached on a single in his first try. The center fielder, Richard Hester. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. 
You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. So digging in now, Anthony Bermudez. He flew Second out in his pitch. last at bat. Anthony. Ready to deliver. Bermudez. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0-2. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Three. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the Third call was right. Number double zero, Joseph Shaney. Stepping in now, Joseph Cheney, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Ball called strike one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ready for another chance. Fernando Alonso. He looked to bounce back after striking That's out his last hitter. time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. Alonso. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Now batting, the first baseman, Howard. Standing in now, Howard Farrell. Farrell. As nope. the first pitch ball misses one. to him, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Swing and he pops him up. 
gets. Backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Stepping into the box, Leroy now Tyler. Pass. The shortstop, Leroy Tyler. First pitch on its way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. The windup and the 0 1. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The 0 2 home. Pops this one up. Hinson over to his left, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. We played four full, and Springfield leads this thing one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Paul Shin, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Paul Shin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. The 1-1 home is strike two swinging. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 1-2 is a wave and a miss he struck him out he's just ringing up strikeouts left and right but what's really impressive to me he hasn't walked anyone either he's just pounding the zone his stuff is dirty today now batting the catcher into the box George. now george rodriguez, rodriguez as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Just That's a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And a two one slider is looked at for a called strike two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow. Talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Fouled away. Honey goes up to get this one as he pops it up over toward the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Stepping up now, Marcos Herrera. Now batting, right fielder, Marcos Herrera. First offering on its way. Here Maybe on. a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Out.
outside for a ball one and one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. Springfield's out in front, one to nothing. Settling in now, Richard Hester. He'll have Fort the opportunity Midland. to kick things off fielder. as we begin the home Richard sixth. Hester. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And he struck him out. The tenth victim sat down on strikes thus far. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Now In now, Anthony Bermudez. Anthony. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. field line and deep and that is off the wall but in foul territory foul ball all right that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there out in front on a fastball hit it hard but pulled it foul count moves to a ball and two strikes now the one two just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Standing in, Joseph Cheney will swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball well outside. Two out, nobody on. Line to the right side. Trainer is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Seventh inning coming up, and Springfield leads this thing one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Fernando Alonso, and they'll need him to get something going here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Set to deliver the 0-1. Left one, one, one. side. And there's Keep one up. away. Digging in once again, Howard now Farrell, Howard. as the switch the hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat Farrell. of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, 0-2 now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Well, he got the leadoff guy in inning on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. 
The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. One out, nobody on. Up, up, up. Popped up. And this is taken in for the second out. Striding in, Leroy Tyler. His now last at bat didn't go his way as he Leroy. popped out in foul territory. Tyler. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here. You would stride to the plate for this A.B. trying to chop. Up, up, up. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. Nothing across here this half. Eighth inning coming up. Springfield's out in front, one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Paul Shin, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Trainer is after it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one, and there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line the score to this point. The catcher. George. Third baseman hugging the line Rodriguez. here, now the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Unable to find the zone with the slider. And he takes a called strike two. The count is one and two. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. Crowd gets up for the three two. Count still full, three and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Count remains full. The payoff pitch one more time. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout. That's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. The right fielder, number 20, Marcos. Stepping in now, Marcos Herrera. Herrera. In the center field, line drive base hit. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side now of caution in terms of fielder, pitch counts. Richard Hester. First offering on its way, and he gets ahead 0-1. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Set to deliver the 0-1. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. 
ninth inning coming up and Springfield nice leads this thing one to nothing. Thanks, dude. Figured so they probably pulled me out of the game already. Too many pitches. Damn, the closer wrecked your win. They're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Cardinals earn the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Eddie Lovett claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Springfield Cardinals. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. So how Time you hold it up, game. brother? Two hours and Hopefully 40 everything minutes. is good on your end. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. I'm doing all right. Work from home at least until APR 3-0. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Not I sure hope when. you're all good. Not sure when I'm returning back to work either. I mean, if nobody returns back to work after April 30th, um, shit, can't work. <laughs> is kind of good it's kind of like I just been studying some shit on Udemy so it's not a total waste Yeah, I've been watching some online FDA courses and stuff. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get into uh, mobile app programming. See if I can make some apps. Make some sweet killer apps.
This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. Minor League Baseball now on the and show now, as our road trip up. makes a stop in the Double A Texas League. Perfect. Today we wrap up this four game weekend series between the Springfield Cardinals and the Corpus Christi Hooks. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Ray Cabrera, a right hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that... Digging in, Joseph Price. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder, Joseph Price. First pitch on its way. And that misses for ball one. Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. Been a fairly decent start to the year. Three and two in their first five. Yeah, thanks, Matty V. Hey, you know what, d -Row? This is one they'd like to win right here. They win the first game of the series, drop game two, win game three. They'd like to keep the momentum going here, d -Row. Win two in a row and win three out of four in this series. Yeah, you want to definitely get a chance to win this series today play good baseball you don't want to go on that seesaw we'll give you one we'll take one they need to figure out a way to get it done today two and one to count the two one is swung on and missed for strike number two Bouncer to the left one. side, played on the backhand. And there's one down now. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the word on them as they try to split the series, Mark? You know, walking around the cage before BP, Matty, one thing jumped out at me. This team's last in runs, and when you look at the lineup, they are well aware of it. They don't want to create that clubhouse divide where it's pitching staff on one side of the room and offense on the other. And the pitchers feel like they have to be perfect all the time. This offense is better than this, and it has to start today. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One out, nobody on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Into the box now. Michael Tejada comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Michael Tejada. Hmm. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Sonny Rodriguez would be next. The three one takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Two out, nobody on. Straight up, straight up. Melendez will put this one away, and the side is retired. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. And fucking controller, I swear. Not happening. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Sonny four Rodriguez, four. as he'll the get his baseman. first opportunity in this Johnny one. Sonny Rodriguez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, and one. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 home down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. <laughs> The next 0 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continues. Jesus. Here's another 0 2. And they'll try to now tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Ball two. Oh, Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Campos is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. Do you want to talk about shutting a running game down? The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get but two-step lead off first base today. Next will be the designated hitter, David Elias. He'll get to take his first hitter. cuts here. David Elias. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll look well. at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. So far this season, Elias hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Bottom of the second here with no score. Okay. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone.
At the plate, Manolo Kapua. He's ready for his six. first at bat of this early baseman. season contest. Number 78. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Aye. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Breaking ball no, below the one. zone. That's ball one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Heading out towards shallow right. Trainer is in for oh, a great shit. diving effort there, but it'll just runner, tip runner, off his glove, right and there, it's a base hit. Hey, you know what? You could slowly start to see that batter leak out over the plate. That was three straight pitches on the outer half, and he was able to dive out there and get an opposite field single. Nice job. Coming to the plate now, Patrick Batting Hornsby. Seven. He's yet to get into the hit column in That's the series. Great. 0 for 7. Hornsby. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. Kapua is off of first with two away. Try again, one, two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played two full, and we are tied nothing, nothing. Leading off the inning, Sheldon, Ball. Go. and Four they'll need him to get two. something going the here. Hey, we're still in the early Sheldon. stages in this one. They're only down oh. by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big oh, inning started. Right. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0 home is in there for strike one. Ballman, two strikes. The one, two, and it's fouled away. The one, two. Fouled away. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Standing in now, Steve Banks, as he will take strike one on the right. fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's ready for his first dad bat of this early season contest. Fly ball right down the line and left. Beep, beep, beep. No. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. 
hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely, and it bounces over for a ground now ball double. Left field. Into the box now, Joseph, Joseph Price. Right. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Second at bat now, he grounded out to start the home first. And he fouls this one off. Here it comes on nothing and two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. <coughs> Didn't mess around much in that at bat Dan. No that was pretty impressive Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball and right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Now back. into the box. Number Fisher Assumption as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Tying run at the plate. The 0 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. The 1 1 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Trainer over to his right, and that's the third oh, out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man Thank left you. aboard. On now to the top of inning number four. Springfield's out in front, two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Michael Tejada, and they'll Four need him hooks. to get something going the here. Lots of baseball Michael. left in this one as we're still Jay early on, Tejada. but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Here comes another 0 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Now back in now, Sonny Rodriguez. Sonny. Yes, he looks at a fastball Rodriguez. that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. I got the count. Oh, this is what every pitcher likes to have another 0 2 count. Really puts the hitters on a defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up, you can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. And they'll try to bounce oh. a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks, and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Stepping up to the plate, David Elez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone. Son of a bitch.
So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number five on the year. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's five to one. This is just one of those parks where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Now batting, number 78. Stepping in now, Manolo Kapua. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Oh, one pitch on its way. Fouled off. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So it's one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. On to the top of inning number five we go, and Springfield leads this thing five to one. Riding in once again, Patrick Hornsby. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. And it's fouled away. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. The right fielder, number 21, Sheldon Paul. Standing in now, Sheldon Hall. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Good heater to strike him out there, and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back <laughs> punch outs on only six pitches. Into now the box, Steve Banks. This will take a look at a slider Good. here that finds the zone for strike one. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. And there's number eight, one away. Two out, nobody on. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out this side on nine pitches. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Joseph Price Leo, and through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a no total of three hits. Go not set. terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this oh, continues like time. this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Oh, and that was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base-stealing threat in the lineup, so 
Now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. Ready for another now shot now. Fisher Assumption. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Up, up, up. Pitch popped up to Silva as room in foul territory. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So stepping in, Michael Tejada, 0 for 2 First here to start the afternoon. Michael. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Popped him up. Gets. Ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Sonny Rodriguez. Base, number seven. Sonny. He's set. Here it comes. In there at the letters 0 and 1. <sighs> Price leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. Springfield's out in front, five to one. Now at the plate, David Elez comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Misses, ball two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Sheely has a read on it. One away. Ooh. Stepping in, Manolo Kapua. He singled in two trips to the plate Number thus far. Hey. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Hit the other way out toward right field. Trainer sprinting after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Coming to the plate now, Patrick Hornsby. Now He'll swing yes, it from the left side right here. Hornsby. Now here's the pitch. Fouled away. Here's the 0-1 pitch. One, this one, one's one. down to third. Melendez comes up with it. In a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. At the plate, Sheldon Hall. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. This is foul right side. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Like a fool. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one, and this guy's been victimized three times already today. He now and this it. lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking Gee. him up. 
bank. First offering on its way. <clears throat> Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big so strikeout. Got to keep that guy off the base path. Catch you later, man. All right, dude. Take care. Stay uh, safe and healthy and whatnot. Take it easy, dude. Striding into the box, <laughs> Joseph Price, and they're down no to their final Robert four Dan. outs here, Dan. Yeah, Joseph. it's not looking we'll too good for we'll them do. right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. First pitch of the at-bat. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero. One, 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 just start getting the leadoff guy on. North is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We've played eight full. Springfield's out in front. Five to one. <sighs> Ah, they took me off. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Cardinals led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. JR Primetime earns win number seven on the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Springfield Cardinals, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Yes, please drive home safely. Peace out, y'all. Stay not sick. <laughs>